friends, it's Allison here from nicepeoplestamp.com. Thanks for being here with me today. I am going to create two fabulous cards with you using the Celebrate with Cake stamp set. This is a super cute set, but it is leaving Stampin' Up! and it will be gone as of June 2nd, if not before, because Stampin' Up! is not making stamp sets past May 22nd, so this may sell out before June 2nd. So snatch yours up in my online store at shop nicepeoplestamp.com and let's get into these cute cards. So here are the cardstock pieces for my first card. We are using the gorgeous lovely lipstick cardstock and this is going to be our card base. This is four and a quarter by 11 inches scored at five and a half. I've got a piece of granny apple green cardstock. This is two and five eighths by three quarters. Then I've got just a scrap of my Whisper White. We're gonna stamp on here and cut something out. And then I already die cut this with the Stitched So Sweetly dies. So if you haven't checked out this set of dies, make sure you do that. All right, for our first step, we're going to do some stamping on our piece that we've die cut. So I'm using Lovely Lipstick and Smoky Slate ink pads. I'm going to start with my Smoky Slate. And I have the cute little mailbox stamp. I'm using this one right here. We're also going to use the balloon. So I've got the little mailbox and I'm going to stamp that in Smoky Slate. And I wanna do it a little bit above the bottom of the die because I'm going to have this as a little piece of grass. So we can sort of have it up a little a bit higher and then I'll take my lovely lipstick and I've got my balloon stamp and we are going to have some balloons coming right out of the mailbox. So there's one and then this one has escaped and is flying away also. Isn't that so cute? While we have our lovely lipstick ink out, we can stamp our sentiment that says lots of birthday wishes. So we'll just ink that up. So cute, I love a good banner. <laughs> so we can just start putting these pieces together. I have my piece of granny apple green and we'll stick that on with a tape runner adhesive. I'm using snail. There we go, stick that down. We can now put this onto our card base with some Stampin' Dimensionals. These will give your project that pop right off the page. I love these. <laughs> All right, so we'll add those. And we'll just center that onto our card front. There we go. All right, so I want to add my little banner, but before I do, I'm going to cut it out using my paper snips. So we have our cute little banner ready to go. And then I'm going to take my mini Stampin' Dimensionals. So these are just a smaller version of those adhesive pieces that I just used on the back of there. So they're perfectly sized for smaller projects or smaller pieces. So we'll take those backings off. And we're going to add this right sort of down into the grass and by our mailbox. So we're going to finish it off with some fun sequin embellishments. So these come in a package of different colors. I am using the green ones and we're gonna just accent our card with some fun sequins. These are really cute. I love that they're adhesive backed. I I just, it makes me so happy <laughs> to just be able to pick them up and put them on my project. And there is our first of two cards and we can dive into the second one. So here are the pieces for our second card. I've got a pineapple punch card base and this is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. 
I've got a scrap of my Whisper White cardstock, and then I also have a piece of Whisper White cardstock that I've die cut with the stitched nested labels. <laughs> so let's go ahead and stamp onto this piece first. I'll be using my Flirty Flamingo ink pad and my Pineapple Punch ink pad. We'll start out with Flirty Flamingo, and I'm just going to take my cake stamp. We'll ink that up and we'll stamp our cake right onto our die cut piece. There we go. And we want to put some candles on our cute cake. So let's bring in our pineapple punch. We'll ink that up and get some cute candles right onto our cake. There we go. And while we have our flirty flamingo ink pad out, let's ink up our stamp that says celebrate with cake. And we'll stamp that onto our scrap of Whisper White cardstock. So before we start assembling onto our card base, I wanna do some stamping with the pineapple punch. So I've got the little party hat stamp and I'm just going to stamp a border around my card And now we can start assembling. I'm going to take my dimensionals and put them on the back of my label piece. There we go. All right, so we can center that. And then of course our party hats are framing that nicely. And then I want to cut out my banner once again. There we go, another cute banner. And we'll take our mini dimensionals and add them on the back. And this time, I don't wanna add them all the way to the edge. I'm just going to add them through the middle because of where this is going to be placed on my card. I'm putting it on the top of the label, so I don't want the hanging off pieces to stick to the card base. So we'll just stick that along the top just like that, so cute. And then we're going to bring in some more of those fun sequins. This is a different color now. We're using the pink ones and we'll add those to our project. And we have another bright and fun birthday card. Thanks so much for joining me for today's fun projects. I hope you enjoyed these bright and bold birthday cards. Don't forget to get your Celebrate with Cake stamp set in my Canadian online store at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. And while you're here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave me a big thumbs up and some comments. I absolutely love hearing from you. It's so rewarding when I know that you enjoy all the crafty things that I'm putting out there for you. So thank you so much, everyone. And I will be back to craft with you again very soon. Bye.